just ask an, an open-ended question here like what the fuck is going on with their aries like someone someone needs to get a hold of what's her name sophia prantera and give her a bit of a shake because i feel like aries have definitely lost this way like it feels like a brand that had a lot of steam had a lot of hype behind it a few years ago really looked great was a real kind of refreshing voice um in terms of presenting fashion in terms of presenting streetwear out from london in a really interesting way but now i feel like they've really lost their way and they've kind of i don't know what they're doing and this tommy hilfiger collaboration is a really good example of things that just look bizarre for me really really bizarre and doesn't make any sort of sense and don't really marry up with what you know arises basically aries or whatever you fucking pronounce it is about nowadays or maybe this is kind of their place or their sort of like pivot or their fork in the road as a brand where they're kind of deciding and figuring out where to go because i feel like um acne maybe had the same sort of period of time in their history where they kind of had a transition from being a jeans company into being a a, a high fashion company that also does a bunch of streetwear because i feel like you know it, acne does a really good job of that where the stuff they present on the runway isn't what essentially is reflected on a web store or online store and isn't what you see people wearing day to day you see way more people wearing that willy hat with the sort of like square smiley face thing as you do people seeing on the street wearing the flipping runway shit and maybe the same goes for aries you see more people wearing that no problemo sweatshirt than any other thing they make but then they also make a whole bunch of other shit that is probably i feel like a little bit overpriced for what it is and just doesn't look the greatest so and and i feel like you know collaborating with tommy hilfiger in 2023 is definitely i feel like a sign that your brand is on the way down like this is horrendous this is like they might as well collaborate with sporty and rich do you know i mean this is how shit it is it looks fucking diabolical and the other thing as well about this if you think about it this tommy hilfiger collaboration is that it might be a bit on brand or a bit on trend because of what we're going through right now with the kind of y2k revival type of shit that's happening but you also have to imagine a lot of that Y2K, Aaliyah core type of shit that's happening right now, it's going to age very, very badly. The same way it aged badly when Y2K stuff was in trend when it was actually happening. Like, like you look at the, you look at the flipping, um, what's your thing called? Um, the, the, the flipping Will Smith song. Big, was it, is it Millennium or something, right? That one that's for the year 2000 where he's wearing a silver suit. That whole entire video is essentially what people are wearing nowadays in terms of clothing wise or you look at any cisco music video um from even fong song look at that video and what people are wearing now you go to any techno club you see a bunch of gay black dudes wearing exactly what flipping cisco was wearing in that kind of fong song video but let's be real those outfits look amazing on some of these guys nowadays when they got six packs and shit and they dye their hair and they got funky nails and they're showing their abs and they got a little dick root showing cool but in a couple of years those pictures are going to look as dated they're going to look terrible and i feel like this sort of stuff this aries collaboration with tommy hilfiger as maybe on trend and on brands it looks nowadays this is going to look terrible in a couple of years it's going to age so badly like you're going to look at this in your wardrobe and be like, how the fuck did I spend, you know, 400 pounds on this flipping top and bottom, right? From Aries, so even though Glorilla looks amazing in this Tommy Hilfiger suit, kind of again, giving, you know, a lot of Aaliyah shit. But once you wear this in a couple of years, this is going to look terrible because no one's going to be doing their hair like this. No one's going to be wearing outfits like this. It's just going to look absolutely gash. So everything about this I hate. I think it looks absolutely horror, horrendous. It looks very cheap. Um, and just direct, it just kind of, if anything, it's just confusing. Like what are Aries actually doing? Like what's the decision? What, what are they trying to do? Um, are they trying to reinvent themselves? Are they trying to revive the brand? Can it to other people? I don't know. I just look at it and I just see absolute garbage personally for me. And I feel like this could all be burned tomorrow and no one would be none the wiser to it. It's absolutely shocking. Really, really, really is shockingly bad. And, there's nothing more I feel like desperate in general when it comes to trying to be on trend than having this type of picture. I feel like this has been so overdone. This whole kind of like Gen Z millennial type of group link up thing with all the ages, multicultural thing is so, so lame. And it just feels so overly done personally. Um, it just feels like it's been done by every single brand has got one of these sort of pictures where they've got every sort of racial denomination sort of listed every every day them every he her it's just boring it's just because it kind of takes away from the quality of the garments it just is another way to kind of get social credit points as opposed to actually producing stuff that people actually want to wear it just looks to me terrible and garbage and a real real waste of time and it should be all lit on fire somewhere or 
you know, thrown in the nearest sea so that some turtle can choke on it or something. It looks absolutely shocking, like every last bit of it. The only thing that probably looks halfway decent is this T-shirt. This Tommy Hilfiger and a Rise T-shirt where it's got Tommy and Aries written on the bottom here, right? That looks pretty decent. And of course, what Glorilla's wearing, this sort of like top and bottom suit thing is going to look great. But again, who's going to be wearing this? Who's going to be wearing this? Like, really? Are, are girls actually going to pay whatever this is going to be worth like retail price it might be like 500 pounds or something maybe more for this top and down suit or they're just going to wait for sheen to copy it and then pay for it and the only people that you're going to see wearing it actually day to day will be influencers so whoever influencer got it for free they'll be flexing this but your regular girl on road would she actually pay for this i don't think so you're most likely going to grab something vintage or maybe a depop or a vintage on ebay make something work with another brand or you're just gonna wait for it to go on sale or you're gonna wait for sheen to do something with it but yeah i don't know what's going on with aries it's it's confusing it's quite concerning because i thought they were pretty cool at one point but now they're horrendous what they do um let's quickly read this interview courtesy of hypebeast about the collaboration Hypey said, um, did you have a personal connection with tommy Hill? yeah this is what i always like when he's having these collaborations right instead of just saying hey um i did the collaboration because it's money because basically these collabs the, the brands usually pay you so tommy hilfiger is you know dead absolute cold colder than flipping ice cubes so they need aries more than aries needs tommy hilfiger so Air, tommy hilfiger probably paid them a little fee a little cons whatever it may be i don't know 10 grand 20 grand hundred thousand grand who cares but it's a flat fee that you get or maybe you'll get you know um you get some you get some flipping sales uh you know you get a portion of the sales but usually you get a flat fee so it's good for the brand so if your brand is struggling in terms of selling stuff in store and you get someone to collaborate with it could be a good way to sort of like give you more money to add to your runway so you can pay staff and survive a few more years but it does really dilute and does kind of cheapen your brand as we've seen with palace is a good example palace have got more collaborations coming out of their ass than anyone and i feel like every single one of them is kind of slowly and surely but surely chipped away at whatever corners that they had like the recent one with ugh look at how terrible those uggs are there's no way anyone that really likes palettes will going to be seen dead in those type of shoes so clearly it does do a negative overall but anyway continue um do you have a press question with tommy Hilfiger? she's gonna let's see if she lies so ferry bentera i met lee holman the creative director to discuss working together in some capacity and we decided to collaborate would be good for okay cool i like that sophia didn't pretend and lie and say that her mom used to wear tommy Hilfiger in the kitchen all the time making clothes and that's why she did it okay cool i like that she was honest what is tommy to you Sophia says, Tommy for me was a brand that dressed American hip hop. I was less interested in Tommy as a preppy brand. I loved the way it was hacked and readapted to a new subculture and I wanted to do the same. That's the thing that is really interesting. I don't even find Aries to be hip hop. It feels very white to me. It feels very Caucasian. It feels very Notting Hill. It feels very, um, you know, lo loafers with like track pants and shit, like Gucci loafers with track pants. It feels like somebody rolling up their own cigarettes it feels like fucking you know um i don't know it feels like stellas cans of stellas it feels like guys who wear sovereign rings ironically gold tooth caps and shit um guys that wear white socks their reeboks aries kind of gives me that sort of vibes it doesn't give me i don't think of hip-hop i don't think of black people even the kind of black people i think of where aries are the ones that kind of live in labrick grove right that you know you know what i mean like you know, the higher, that, that, that kind of black guy. That's who I think of who wears flipping Aries. I don't think of anyone else from ENDS who flipping wear that shit. Like, so it's funny that they're jumping to the hip hop thing. Cause again, who's wearing in a, in an American way, who's actually wearing Aries? I feel like only like white girls that are like girl bosses like the wearing the no problemo shirt. Essentially, again, it's like, it's kind of like a really fashion version of sporty and rich, which is really crazy to say because sporty and rich is fucking shit. So to call Aries a fashion sporty and rich is a real, I think bad, you know, sign that Aries is kind of going in the wrong direction. But again, maybe they're just trying to figure it out and I don't really know. But it continues here. Um, how does the collaboration expand Aries' experience? Collaborating with Tommy allows us to broaden our reach. The clothes are very much a hybrid of both brands. It's Aries hacking Tommy. Working with a brand like Tommy allows us to only explore new styles but produce more extensive collaborate creative around the collection and work with amazing music talent like Gorilla. I just want there to be an end to collaborations, man. I'm at, I'm at that point now where I just think this idea of hacking into one brand to hopefully get that customer base to come over to your customer base i've just had enough of it really i'm bored of the collaboration i think they just need to all be sacked off like just enough enough of them but hey 
they you know people make money from them so they're not gonna start anytime soon another one there's a big 90s feel to this was emulating this area a conscious decision you well we didn't specifically but tommy first reached out popularity in 90s when we collaborate we looked to bring out the other brands usp and for tommy it was association with a 90s artist like Aaliyah, snoop tlc and grand puba so yeah 90s early 2000 but you know the vibe tommy was really one of the first brands to actively collaborate on a underground subculture and emerging music artists and really helped define the look of that era that's what i was interested in what has they what have they done what have they done what have they done aries to even collaborate in music i'm just confused by this i don't even think of aries as music it's so interesting to me how different maybe again maybe i'm missing something and i haven't seen it but i don't even have seen have aries even done like a boiler room have they even done a flipping a hush or something was it, is it hush or anything or i've never even seen them do a, a public facing party thing like that so them thinking that they're a music brand is weird to me in any way shape or form um but again maybe they're just in this confusing place they don't know where direction to kind of point in and they're just kind of figuring out along the way another question here there are also some upcycled looks talk to me through the process of creating these and why it's necessary to collaborate um for the collaboration to be sustainable oh fucking hate this shit everyone pretending they're being sustainable if you want to be sustainable you just retire your brand you know every bit of clothing that you put out there is contributing to this hellscape that we're currently living in no amount of sustainability is ever going to change that whatsoever it's just such a um virtue signaling thing to do but everyone does it anyway um there were two main reasons for upcycling the first was tommy's iconic look for Aaliyah, which was created by a stylist by readapting men's underwear and jeans at the time tommy didn't make women's wear and her stylist used the famous brand elastic underwear to make a bra and accessories for the shoot so readapting and upcycling seemed like a very valid start starting point secondly possibly more importantly tommy had just launched a desktop website and this made available for us to upcycle on a larger scale you know, we had done collaboration with desktop basically means stuff that didn't sell it's not like a luxury thing it's things that no one bought now they're trying to dead stock it so people can cut it up and make horrible crop tops of it we had just done a collaboration with a magazine more or less who specializes in recycled fashion and we had a blueprint for how to readapt jeans and sweatshirts and wanted to apply this to a larger scale to our brands like tommy the question is based on the idea that aries um, hacking tommy rather than blending with two brands and tearing tommy pieces apart so you don't want to tear it apart but you want to blend but you don't want to blend rather than blending two brands and tearing co what oh, confusing line the question is based on the idea of hacking tommy rather than blending the two brands and tearing actual time pieces apart that's what you basically did anyway printing cover and printing over them and remaking them into something more elaborate seemed like the most natural process how this process how this collaboration How's it feel to have coverage around the world? Exciting. Um, we've been working on it for a long time and it's finally out. We're happy about it. So it's at value at the website. Let's see how much it costs. I'm guessing it's going to be a million bucks. There's no way this is not going to be fucking, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds to purchase, which is going to be hilarious. But let's just see how much they are, you know, putting on the price of this flipping su supposed sustainable flipping collection. Let's see here. Okay. Yep. Select. We want pounds. Let's see how much this cost. Let's see, Tommy Hilfiger and flipping area. Let's see. Let's go rid of there looking wonderful. Big up her. And let's see how much this stuff cost. It's loading now on the screen. Oof. The Tommy and Aries logo elastic dress. 230 pounds. God damn. Elasticated top 110. Elasticated skirt 130. The, the 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 thing maybe 130 again maybe it's not too bad but again i don't think the the, the person that they're marketing to this too is going to be wasting their money purchasing this when they can just buy it you know vintage kind of quote unquote already online or they can just maybe hack and make it themselves i don't really see them doing that personally but maybe i might be wrong um more tommy bandana boxer shorts for 75 pounds boxer shorts for 75 mamma mia the jeans here are 130 the matching shirt is 110 not more with the tape um stickers over them which is horrid might be one of the worst things i've ever seen actually this fuck you now a tape a so when I look at that, i feel stuff you know what i may have to start my own brand in it because if people are making bucks out of shit like this opening stores and becoming millionaires then fuck me mate this is horrible another one this is probably the nicest thing i've seen actually in this I, I think this is probably the nicest piece this is a tommy um hill figure and aries logo destroyed denim jacket this might be the nicest thing actually in the entire collection i really like how this looks actually 
it's a bit oversized, a bit relaxed fit. Um, it looks like it goes with a lot of things. And, and these dungarees, I don't wear dungarees, but I think these dungarees look pretty cool. But the rest of it is fucking horrendous. Really bad. Like, look at this shit. Um, Aries, um, SEMA, SEMA 4 walking pant, SEMA 4 shirt. 130 the t-shirt i said was nice it's 65 pounds the bucket hat is 69 god almighty mate look how much shit is in this um this jumper is pretty decent maybe it shows that long sleeve logo top right long sleeve shirt neon green how much is that 70 fucking hell it's a lot of it's a lot of wonga for this terrible shit the slides how much are the slides it's 85 look at those shoes Oh, what are those what are those they look fucking horrible oh my god what the fuck are these tommy aries big trainer 170 more like one never one never mate what the fuck is that it's like their version of like a skate shoe but it looks so horrendous it doesn't it beggars belief like it's like a big skate shoe type of shoe maybe it's got padded tongues thick tongue thick laces it's got like a canvasy type of upper on it oh my god that a logo on the side is horrible so is the logo here on the tongue like nah all of it all of it can get burned tomorrow or right now actually these boat shoe things are just i don't know no thank you no thank you wow all of it's shocking um the bag's quite nice actually uh yeah see that and that's a sold out thing that bag is actually maybe one of the best pieces in here and it's sold out. So that's a clear sign that maybe they didn't make a lot of these or that this is the most, this is the one that everyone likes. This bag is definitely the best thing. The Tommy and Aries logo webbing shopper. This is actually really cool. I, I actually don't mind this. This bag looks really nice and it's sold out. But the rest of it can just get burned. It's all garbage personally for me. I don't like it at all. Um, it's very, I don't know. It kind of, it's giving non-binary and I don't, it's not like an insult, but it's just, there's a lot of like non-binary clothes here. And I just, I don't know if I, if I like non-binary clothes, I have to be honest. I like my shit to look swaggy regardless if it's male or female, but I just don't like non-binary clothes. It's, it's giving very much non-binary. Yeah, it's just not for me. Me not like it at all in the slightest, but if you, if you do, then you know where to purchase it. You know where it's at. Um, contact your local airy stockist and kind of you know go and do the bits if you need to do the bits go and do the bits if you need to do the bits go and do the bits if you need to do the bits